bittersweet moment on deadlifts today. Um, yeah, I mean, deadlifts are starting to like click. And I'm starting to get like my form down. There's some, some technical changes that I've changed that I think have really helped to like just getting things a little bit more consistent, staying in my position a little bit better. Um, I mean, listen, there's a lot of variables that went into this particular training session. Um, and I guess I'll talk about the variables in a second, but let's talk about the actual session that you watched. Um, warmed up, hit, I think it was like 694 um, for like my second to last warm up. Jumped straight to like 740, um, which is pretty big for me. That pretty much matches a PR for me, um, uh, like a gym PR for like deadlifts. Um, and, you know, based on how that 740 moved, I'm like, you want to know what? Like I got, like I, got, I, I got that 780 in me today. I got that 782. So loaded up 782. Came extremely close to it. Um, I know what I did wrong. Um, I didn't get the bar deep enough in the palm of my right hand. Um, hand caught the thigh a little bit, started to unravel, and then the whole thing unravels from there. Um, but for me, I mean, really being able to attempt 780 um, and get it as far as I did and feel as good as I did about it, like it, it, it's one of those weird things where it's like I failed, so obviously it's an all-out max, right? But the, the, the strength component um, is 100% there for that and then maybe a little sum if I can clean up some of the technical pieces that I just still need to get done and refine within myself. Um, so bittersweet moment, um, hit 705 for five after that, which is definitely PR. Um, I remember last time I did try to do 700 for reps. I think I only got like two and I missed a second. Um, so, I mean, deadlifts are getting better. We are getting stronger. Just try to dial in even more. I mean, you know, testament to just, you know, staying mentally locked in with all the different moving parts uh, that are happening. Um, for those of you, I mean, by the time this is dropped, like a lot of the mayhem is going to be over with. But um, so the old location of the gym that I'm buying into got shut down. Essentially, the water got cut. Um, some issues there, not inhabitable for any type of business. And uh, the building's getting knocked down in the next couple of months or so um, once we get our equipment and all that out. And so there was just no, there was no reasonable way for us to negotiate and, and, and barter and get whatever we needed to get done to make it habitable again so the members can be back in there until we actually officially wanted to move into the gym. So now we have a rush move that needs to happen. Um, essentially, it's going to be like three weeks um, that we're going to get all the equipment out, get the floors down in the new place. It's going to be habitable enough that we can run business, um, but not going to be the perfect grand opening that I wanted. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's a part of the game. Um, I guess, man, like, like just take a moment and uh, like the back half of this year, um, you know, following Sheffield has been, it's been a crazy one, you know what I'm saying? Like you break a world record, you get locked out of the world championships, world championships goes the way that you do, the way that they did and you feel like, hey, you had an opportunity to, to maybe fight for, you know, for a third world title. You, you go to a local meet and, you know, you're supposed to be routine, you're supposed to try to push your way into Sheffield and then end up, you know, getting, getting beat there um, you know, dad ended up passing away like a month or so after that. Um, you know, gym's getting shut down while you're trying to build the other one. Like there's a lot of different moving parts that are going on. And sometimes you want to ask and you look at yourself, he's like, hey, why me? Like, why is this happening to me? Like, what's going on? Like, how can I stop this? Like, why, why am I feeling like I'm getting beat up? And I think the difference between the average or the sub-average or the below average and champions and, and, and not just like physically world champions, but champions in business and, and life and whatever, whatever it is that you define it as. It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be fame. It doesn't have to be, you know, accolades, but whatever success and, 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 and that you derive from that, I think the difference between those that have and have not are when when adversity knocks on your door, do you actually answer the call and face it head on or do you cower away from it? And so, you know, getting into this deadlift session, um, still, you know, doing what I was able to do, still pushing forward on other aspects is just, it's, 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 it's a part of the game and it's a part of what you ask for, what I ask for, if, if I want to try to achieve great things. I'm, I'm far from all 99% of the things that I want to achieve in life and business and in, in, in this sport. But uh, I believe that with just consistent work and time under tension and just not stopping even when I feel like my back is against the wall, eventually you will get there. Um, and so, yeah, man, I mean, like I always say, you know, to each of us comes a special opportunity. What a tragedy if that moment finds us unprepared or ill-qualified for that could have been, could have been which our final hour, finest hour. I'm out of breath, I fucked that line up, but it is, we all have the opportunity to do something great. 
Um, don't cower away from it when it gets tough and you're going uphill because it simply just means that you're getting closer to the end destination and not many people are meant to climb that high. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the component of that. We're going to get into the accessory side of things, ma'am. Um, accessories is pretty chill. Um, single arm pull downs, single arm dumbbell rows, Copenhagen planks, strengthening up these adductors so I can keep on pulling, get the back rows in. Um, and yeah, brother, you're going to be out. Peace. Thanks, man. It's coming together. It's coming together. My first time seeing it since. Oh yeah, you haven't been here in a while. It's been yeah. Looks better than I thought it would, and I hoped it wouldn't come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lose my mind. And the uh, it's gonna be a vinyl MVB logo I sent him yesterday, right when you. What are they doing with this? They're gonna put a. Don't know yet. <laughs> they should just put a. They should put a black collar. Unlike this with drywall, is an opportunity for people to destroy it. <laughs> now, how does this thing look? How does this look? Being a power lifter, you can feel any imperfection in your feet when you stand in. Equipment's coming in on Tuesday. Which equipment? All of the equipment. This is going to be the actual floor? Yep. Sick. 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 Sanding. Nice. Just have to finish the tile, throw up the ceiling. I think the fixtures might be in next week. Like the, like the actual like toilets and everything? Yeah. That's what we ordered um, at the end of the week. Mm. Which way did it take you? It took me through a really nice day. <clears throat> uh, I'm so fucking excited, dog. Look. I mean, it's only like eight minutes from a train station, too. Like eight minute walk. There's a train station right there. I was, I was checking. Yeah. You can see the lockers here. Yeah, I saw the other day when I popped in. Oh, uh, no, no. That's, that's, that's why, like, every time someone would ask it, I'd just be like, no. <laughs> Always get like the same, like, oh, where's the, like, no, can't say, can't say, can't say. And then <laughs> I, uh, I altered my idea for the uh, gym back wall because, uh -oh. no, 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 because like I realized, I mean, I'm wait, I'll wait for them to tell me what the price is going to be, but I was talking to Johnny and like to actually have lights back there would probably be ungodly expensive and give you a heart attack. <laughs> you know, when I saw the price of that stuff, I, I figured it was already light. But that was just vinyl stuff for the 13000 That's just for back here? Yeah. For... I don't understand. For the wall, the pillar, and then that other back wall. How could it cost that? The vinyl and the install. I don't know. That you would know better than me in terms of what the going rate is. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the time has finally come. You guys wanted the location address. Here you go, here you got it. Drum roll, please. The actual address to the new Mount Vernon location so that you guys can figure out how to get here is 220 South Fulton Ave, Mount Vernon, New York. See y'all soon.